All right, when is the last time you had a slice of warm cinnamon raisin toast? When I was a child, I used to have it all the time. Like it was one of my favorite things to have like a slice of toasted cinnamon raisin bread and I would slap on all the butter and it was so good. I feel like you don't really hear about cinnamon raisin toast anymore. Um, it's like a thing of the past. And so I am gonna put an end to that. I am gonna show you how to make an amazing cinnamon raisin bread that you can toast for breakfast. Um, it's a sourdough, it's healthy for you, it's nutritious. The recipe is so simple. We're gonna do one set of folds and that's it. Gunther decided to join me, my dog. I don't know if you can see him, but I'm sure you could hear him. Anyways, um, it's easy to make, super easy to make. Um, it's gonna be easy on your hands, so you're not doing a lot of kneading. Um, we're gonna make it in the evening, and then we're going to um, have the bulk rise overnight, and then we're gonna bake it in the morning. So super simple, delicious, healthy, nutritious bread for you, and it's gonna change up your breakfast routine. <laughs> Welcome to Farm Bread. I'm Kate and I make simple, delicious artisan breads here on our little backyard farm. Making bread doesn't need to be complicated. Do not overthink it. Trust your instincts, take some risks, and have fun in the process. And always remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So one thing that I want to emphasize is that I try to use organic ingredients when I can. I can't always, but when I can, I like to. Reason being, there are a lot of grains out there that are genetically modified and that are mass produced in fields that are sprayed with herbicides and pesticides, and that's a lot of chemicals. So I definitely recommend if you have access to organic and you can purchase it, it's the way to go. All right, here we go, let's get started. So I have zeroed out my scale and in my large bowl, I am going to add about 65 grams of active bubbly starter. We're a little bit over, which is totally fine. I'm not worried about that. Now we are going to add 325 grams of warm water. So we have to zero out our scale. go a little bit over, you can just remove some. There we go, 325. Now I'm going to stir these two together. Okay. Zero out your scale before we add our flowers. So we're going to add 500 grams of bread flour. Whoops. <laughs> I lost a little bit of water when it splashed in, so I'm just gonna add a couple drips back. There we go. I love pink Himalayan salt, so I'm going to be using about 10 grams of pink Himalayan salt. Okay, I'm gonna remove this from my scale and stir everything together. Feeling like this is a little dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. Just about a teaspoon. There we go. And just make sure you have any dry spots that they're incorporated nicely. All right, good. Should have a shaggy dough, like so. All right, so I'm covering this with a damp cloth. I'm going to let it rest for about an hour. Meanwhile, I will get the fillings ready. We're gonna be adding about 150 grams of raisins. them down a little bit. 
Now we're going to be adding water just until they can actually soak in it so they're not super dry, just to basically cover them like so. Now we are going to add some vanilla and sugar and cinnamon to our raisin mixture. We will eventually be draining this water out, but right now we can let everything kind of soak up into the raisin. So I'm going to zero out my scale and we're going to add about 10 grams of vanilla extract. I love vanilla. I love the smell of it. We're going to be adding 24 grams of sugar. and one gram of cinnamon. Well, I think that's good. So now we're just gonna mix everything together. We have a full house here tonight. Everybody's here, so we got lots of kids running around. Keep in mind, we are gonna be draining this, but right now we're just gonna mix everything together really nicely and let these soak while we are waiting for our bread to rest. Okay, and then we'll just set this aside. All right, friends, we are back. I am going to drain our beautiful cinnamon raisin mixture. Hopefully you can see how nice and they plumped up a little bit. They're nice and soft, which will be great for incorporating into our dough. I love a lot of raisins in my bread. So we're just going to try to incorporate all of these as best we can. So you might need to take a few minutes. Squeeze them all in there as you're folding the dough. You can already see how the doughs come together nicely. What do you think, Blake? I think it looks good. All right. You can see how we're incorporating the cinnamon. We'll have some nice streaks of cinnamon in here. All right. We are good. We'll flip it into a nice round ball and I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap. I'll put my towel back over top. So now that this is covered, I am going to let it sit on the counter at room temperature and let it have a bulk rise overnight and I'll come back to it in the morning. Okay. It is the next morning. Our bread has set out overnight. How beautiful does that look? You can kind of see how it's puffed up. It's about double in size. Let's take the plastic wrap off. Definitely save your plastic wrap too. You can always reuse it. All right, this looks beautiful. I'm going to gently flour the surface of our counter. Oh, it's so soft. This already smells incredible. Okay, now we're just gently going to push out any little air bubbles that are too big. And then we're gonna shape this. Now we are going to be using a typical loaf pan for this. We're not gonna be using a ceramic cloche or anything like that. So um, I'm just gonna shape this as like a typical log for um, a loaf pan. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. <laughs> so now I'm going to let our log <laughs> sit. 
sit out for about 10 minutes just to rest a little bit and then I'm going to put it into our very well greased loaf pan. Since we have a couple exposed raisins, um, it's really important to make sure that your loaf pan has been oiled or buttered, however you do it, um, really well. So now I am going to use a bench scraper and I'm going to gently lift our loaf and just put it right into our pan. Our goal is to now let this sit out for about two hours. Typically, for me, these things always take longer. So when I see that the bread is getting towards the rim, that's when I'll start to preheat my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We are going to cover our dough. All right, so we'll be back in about two hours to transfer this to the oven. All right, friends, welcome back. I actually extended the time, so this has actually been rising for about two and a half hours. Um, you can see it has gotten larger and it's puffed up a bit, so I am ready to put this in the oven. Um, about a half an hour ago, I turned the oven on to preheat it um, to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm going to do now is place my dough into the oven and turn the oven temperature down to 400 degrees. We're going to bake this for roughly 45 minutes or so. You definitely want to check about halfway through and make sure that it's not burning because sometimes the fruit um, when it's near the top can get a little bit too um, well basically it can cook too quickly and it can burn a bit so you might want to use tin foil to tent the loaf What a beautiful loaf, and you have no idea how amazing my kitchen smells right now. <laughs> I am going to let it cool for about five minutes. You can see how it's pulled away nicely from the sides. Um, we'll remove it from the pan and place it directly onto the wire rack below. All right, it's been a few minutes. So now we can take it out of the pan, slips right out. We are going to dig in. Gonna cut the end off. Oh my goodness, look how delicious this is. Wow, okay. Cut one more slice for you. Let's see. Oh wow, that is incredible. Look at all these juicy, delicious raisins. The crumb is soft. Oh my gosh, yummy. I cannot wait to eat this. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. This here. I just love butter on my cinnamon toast bread. Mm. This is so good. These raisins are amazing and so they're juicy they are so good inside and i didn't even toast this yet <laughs> i'm just eating the bread by itself untoasted but the bread is it's not super sweet um the cinnamon is very subtle lots of delicious butter in there <laughs> soaked down um the raisins give this a really nice sweetness too. This would make an incredible French toast. Oh my gosh, the way that it's soaking in the butter, it would soak in the egg. So friends, I haven't even toasted this yet and I'm going nuts over it. Definitely give it a shot. Let's make an effort and bring back cinnamon raisin toast, but it needs to be brought back because this is incredible. And it's so easy to make. You saw I did one set of folds at the very beginning, a huge bulk rise overnight, nice long fermentation. 
and then we did a, another final proof this morning before we baked it. It was very passive, not a lot of hands-on work. Super simple. It's a healthy, nutritious bread. I hope you try it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you like, subscribe, share, as always. Um, please turn on notifications so that you don't miss my next video. I'm going to be doing a really fun surprise with some fruit. I'll leave it at that. Definitely comment below um, once you've tried it. I can't wait to hear what your experience is and if you found this recipe helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Oh, and definitely check out my playlist, Sourdough for Breakfast.